What's up, everybody? It's Priyan Joni. So today we're going to be talking about freestanding tabletop laptop stands. The reason why I say freestanding and tabletop because I'm specifically going to be looking at laptop stands that go on the tabletop and not the ones that mount or the ones that are freestanding from the ground. Basically, it would be the laptop stands that you would be using in your DJ sets. So what I did was I asked Zounds to send me whatever was available that they had in stock. If any model was sold out or there was only one left, we omitted those. Today's not really a comparison or trying to figure out which one is the best stand. The truth is everybody's needs are different. So we're just gonna take a look at each one of the stands and judge them by five criteria, which is stability, how stable they are when you have a device on it, ergonomics, how well they fit into your gear and you know if it tilts up, tilts down, it's height adjustable or any features that make using the stand easier. Portability, and we can say all three of these are about portability, but specifically for number three, we're talking about how easy it is to collapse and put away. The weight, we'll know if this will give you a backache if you put it in your DJ backpack. And storability, how thin it is when it collapses and how much space you have left when you're putting it in your backpack or record bag. Today's video is brought to you by Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database for working DJs and mix artists. It's the one-stop shop where you can get your music from for your gigs. It's a searchable, organized database with thousands of edits, remixes, and different versions of your favorite tracks from many different genres. What's also awesome about Direct Music Service, if you're always on the road just like me, they have this awesome mobile app so that you could search your favorite tunes, put them on a wish list, and they'll be ready for you on your Dropbox folder when you get home. You can now save some money and get a discount using one of these two coupon codes. Use the code PJMONTHLY and get 30% off your first month off any monthly subscription. Use the coupon code PJ yearly and get 10% off your entire first year of any yearly subscription. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. Okay, so we're gonna do this in the order of least expensive to the most expensive. So we're gonna start with the ultimate support hyper series laptop stand. This is the HYP 1010B. So by the looks of it, this stand is very much based on the popular crane stand where it could do C style or Z style, Z style for you folks in the United Kingdom. Comes with a top bag so you don't scratch up your gear when you store this. So like I said, it reminds me of the crane except it has a, a wide foot instead of a single tier. I like the placement of the rubber because it doesn't seem to have the metal touch anywhere that would scratch the table surface. So one of the things I notice is that you really have to tighten these locks. I don't see any surfaces that would scratch your device, your laptop. Um, and uh, because it is crane style, you can flip this if you wanted it to be lower. So let's try this out with my laptops. I got my MacBook Air. And the width on it is actually pretty perfect with the MacBook Air. And even at its tightest, I do see a little bit of give. Let's make sure we're doing this right. Okay. I would say I still prefer the locking method on the cranes. Because I feel like this could be more stable because of its construction and its weight, but it's still a little wobbly. Let's try the 15 inch on it. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this one because it does like to move. Let's go back to C style. Tighten this all the way. 
So I would be really careful with this one because it seems to still move the laptop down and up. Well, now I don't know if this one is actually defective, but I have these on super, super tight and they're still moving around. And for a stand as heavy as that, I would expect it to be more stable. So ultimate HYP 1010 stability, not so much. Ergonomics, it needs to do its job first, but as far as ergonomics, you do get a little bit of height adjustability because it is Z-axis. Um, the feet are kind of thick, so getting underneath CDJs or a mixer might be a little challenging. Um, for the most part, most stands won't have a problem getting underneath turntables because turntables are lifted, but you might have a little bit of a tilt. Not too bad. Portability, this is a little big, but it does collapse all the way down and you can put it inside the top bag that it comes with. The weight, it's 4.9 pounds and it's one of the heavier ones that we're showing today. And just for reference, uh, one of the stands that were kind of the standard or the staple was the Stanton Uber stand. And I actually have an old one here. And these are discontinued. And a lot of people like them because they were really skinny. They fit in a record case and they were relatively light. And comparing the two, <laughs> Like you can just see when they're collapsed, this one is monstrous compared to the Stan Uber Stan. And if you can tell, I, this one has seen better days. Like the, the rubber has fallen off and it's all scratched up. I only use it for home use now. So ultimate support, not great on the weight. Storability, it's kind of thick. And when you compare it to the Uber Stand, it's like, I would say the Uber stand is about two records thick, while this thing is about four records thick. If you're willing to spend $79, I would spend maybe 20 more dollars and opt out to the next stands that I'm gonna show you guys. So next we have the Roland LP-1T laptop stand. And it's already in the bag. This might have already been opened. It has kind of like a matte, like a matte look to it, and I know it's all aluminum. And this one is very reminiscent of the Uber stand. It has a super thin profile. And it is a little thicker than the Uber stand, but not by much. Just maybe a little taller but the and just a hair wider it also comes with a tote bag and i like this tote bag because it's a little thicker it's not super super thin where the actual stand will poke a hole right through it and just rip it up uber stand <laughs> so let me figure how this works so there's these twisting screws do i remove it all the way or okay so there's um locking screws on the bottom so that it doesn't wobble okay i think i understand what i have to do so i think you have to remove the tray all the way to bring up the top piece and i'm guessing you thread these here for that bottom tray. And I love the fact that the secondary tray is large because the older ones, like on the Uber stand, are kind of, it's kind of small, it's made for an interface. Well, this one, you could use it for a lot more things. You could probably put an interface in a hard drive, which is more important to me. Oh, okay, so these screws actually help lock the secondary tray in place. So I wasn't expecting much because um, one of the things that I never really liked about the Uber stand is how flimsy it is. But being one that's kind of inspired by an Uber stand, 
I like this one better and because it has these locks that keep it more stable. The original Uber stand, there was supposed to be like a Velcro piece, which I replaced here to keep it from wobbling backwards. And uh, when you have something, when you have a laptop on it, there's no stopping it from falling backwards unless you have the Velcro piece over here. And it's always been kind of flimsy, but like when you put your laptop on the Roland, super stable. In fact, most of the wobble is actually the table. <laughs> but this is very, this is very nice. Let's try it with the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Not bad. My only complaint about this one is that the bottom feet are super, super thick. So if you were to use this right in the middle with your battle mixer, your battle mixer is gonna see like a half an inch um, height on there. And with, if you're using these with CDJs on the side, it's gonna be tilt, it's gonna be really obviously tilted because this bottom piece is super, super thick. But if you want something super stable, this would be it. And, and because it's, uber stand like you know it's not really height adjustable it's a uh, fixed height you do have three places you can put the tray i usually put it as high up as possible so it's away from any devices i have on the bottom but yeah on stability this thing wins on stability ergonomics um the tray makes it awesome for having you know if you have the phase receiver you have a hard drive or if you have an interface it's nice and large, and I've never seen a tray that large yet on a laptop stand. And being an Uber style laptop stand, it should have a tray. Because usually the crane ones usually don't, but I've seen some out there that do. However, where it's weak on ergonomics is the fact, you know, it's an Uber style stand. It's not height adjustable. You can't go Z style on it. And the feet are very, very thick. It's going to lift any device with the exception of a turntable that you slip it underneath. So let's talk about portability. I love how perfect the stand collapses. It's almost like it's not, there's not a lot of things protruding out of it. It's like a transformer. My complaint is, is these screws that you remove. I guarantee you any DJ that is on the road is going to lose these. <laughs> and this is my first time putting the stand away and I could just imagine how at the end of the night, if somebody had a little bit to drink, how easy it is to totally mess this up or just throw it in the top bag, all jumbled up. If collapsing it wasn't a pain, I would say its portability would be flawless, but it's just a little bit of work to get it down to this. Now the weight on this is 4.18 pounds, so just a little over four pounds. Uh, almost a pound heavier than the Uber stand, but I think that extra pound is totally justified by its awesome, awesome stability. And I love it. <laughs> Storability, like we said, this is pretty thin. Um, not as thin as the Uber stand, but it's just a hair, I would say maybe just one record thicker and could probably fit wherever you put an Uber stand in. So this one is a great laptop stand. So the next stand that... I'm gonna show you guys is the L Stand 360 from Odyssey. And this one is actually my personal one. Zounds didn't send me one, but they do have this one available. And this one is inspired by the crane stand, but with a lot more features. And I'll show you what they are. Like it has the classic crane-like quality of being able to go C style and also Z style, but here's where it actually makes your life a little easier. You see, instead of a twist and lock mechanism, it's more of a push to unlock to move all the parts. It's not too thick. It's not like the ultimate stand, but it does have a little bit of height to them. I wish this part was rubberized instead of plastic, but there are these rubber band like rings at the pressure points 
including where your laptop sits so that you don't scratch up where you're leaving this on. Now, here's where this laptop stand is super awesome. It's the fact that it is also height adjustable. And there are several holes on the sides that it can lock to. So if you have issues trying to fit the bottom portion underneath a device, you can actually give it some height. And move it farther back because of the height adjustment. And the only thing that this thing is missing that I wish it had, and I kind of just said, okay, I like everything else, I'm gonna get it, but I just wish it had this one thing, was just some sort of secondary tray because I use an external hard drive. And to remedy that, I actually got one of these, these phone stands and I just put it underneath here and I put my hard drive on there and I kind of push it up against the laptop stand just and it gives it a little bit more more stability and support. I know there's some single tier crane inspired stands that can pivot pan left to right and, and generally you can't really do that on a two tier stand and that's totally fine with me because this is stable when it's two tier. Now the most awesome thing about this specific stand is how light it is. This is the lightest DJ laptop stand on the market. It is two pounds. This thing is lighter than the Uber stand. And you might think it's plastic. It's actually not. It's an aluminum construction, but it's hollower than most other stands. I learned about these stands because at Pioneer DJ, this is the stand that we use on all the laptops when we're at a trade show like NAMM or DJ Expo. Sometimes these front hooks can get in my way, so I tend to just tilt it down and they don't bother me anymore. I can still rest my palms right on top of the palm rest of the, the laptop and I have no problem with it. Now, it's a little bit more wobbly than say, the Roland, but it's not wobbly enough where I feel it's unsafe. This thing can, <laughs> my MacBook starts closing. This thing can take enough of a give. And same with the 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is no issue. So the Odyssey L Stand 360, the stability, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's above average, it's pretty good. The ergonomics, amazing ergonomics. I just wish it came with a tray, but I have that remedied. So portability, it collapses and it's really, really easy to collapse. This thing is quick. The roll-in took me a little bit of time. This thing is just really quick. Just make sure that you your height is put all the way down and the weight, this is the winner with the weight, two pounds, lightest thing. It's not gonna break your back, especially when you're running with your laptop back in your airport. Storability, it's not quite as thin as the Uber stand, and I don't expect that to be with a crane-like stand, but it's not quite as thick as the Ultimate either, or I would even imagine a crane. It's best of both worlds, and while it is on the thicker side, it makes up for it for its lack of weight. And I specifically got a white one because if I ever had to do a performance at the Pioneer DJ booth, I didn't want to have mine disappear into our inventory because all the ones we have are black and I can always keep an eye on my personal piece. So the next stand we have is the k &M, which is Koenig and Meyer. It's the 12190. And this one doesn't I haven't seen anybody use this one around, so this one is pretty new to me. It's neither uh, an Uber style or a crane style stand. Okay, <laughs> first impression. This thing is surprisingly light despite how bulky it is. Like I expected to pick up a brick when I saw it and then it was just like, whoa. Yeah, this thing is surprisingly light. Now, it definitely doesn't win with storability because this thing is pretty thick, but <laughs> really surprised how light it is. 
not bad. Not really something I want to keep in a backpack, especially since it doesn't come with a bag. One thing I don't like is it's bare metal on the bottom, so it's already scratched my, my table. <laughs> so I wish there was, let's check the box if there are any felt or rubber. Yeah, there are. And I believe you can, you also have to put some on the top tray, which I'm not going to do because this thing is going back to sounds. I wish that it would just be already in pre-installed. And I can tell you right now, if you are traveling with this laptop stand and you have the felt or rubber protectors on there, there's a good chance that you're going to accidentally scrape it off in your laptop bag. But a great thing about it is how thin the bottom pieces. So if you have a CDJ or a mixer, it's not going to be lifted too high. Now, the way the stand is, it seems like it could have been meant for a permanent installation. But for the stability, I would still go back to either the Odyssey or the Roland. And it doesn't have the hooks that kind of protect your laptop from sliding around because I can see this just the wrong person bumping your laptop and your laptop flying off and I've actually had that happen with these two laptops and the thing that saved it was my stand. Now this isn't a bad stand for a permanent installation but for its price which is nearly a hundred fifty dollars I would consider the Odyssey or the Roland or even the crane, you know? <laughs> so the Koenigenmeyer 12190 laptop stand. Stability could be better. Ergonomics, I will say I do like the thin base on there because it's not gonna overlift a mixer or a CDJ. Portability, it's not difficult to collapse it, but it's not the easiest thing either. The weight, it does win with the weight. It's 4.4 pounds. It's just a tad heavier than the Roland. So, and it's actually surprising because like it looks like it's five pounds when you first see it, but it's not. Storability, definitely not winning in that category because it is super, super thick. Okay, so I'm cut editing this part in. Originally when I recorded this, which you just saw, I had this stand actually upside down. And the only way I knew was the fact that once I looked at the back, I, totally <laughs> did that whole take upside down. Now, uh, the reason why I'm not going to re-record the whole thing is because it doesn't make much of a difference. The top tray and the bottom tray are pretty much identical, except for the fact that the top tray has holes for heat dissipation for your laptop. But um, it's just the positioning of how to actually adjust the height of the top portion or the tilt. Aside from the logo on the back, which doesn't face you, um, there's not much of an indicator to really, really tell someone that, hey, shouldn't use it this way. Because it doesn't stand out to me that seeing the slits on the top one is the place where you put your laptop, especially since there's no protective hook that keeps it from slipping. So if you're looking for something heavy duty, for a laptop or a module. Let's check out this next stand. So this is the Pioneer DJ, DJC ST S1. This box is bigger than all the laptop stands that were mailed to me. And just as a bias disclaimer, just in case you didn't already know, I work for Pioneer DJ as a product demonstrator. So let's open this up. And I've seen these stands before at this trade show, but I never worked in a booth where I had to set it up. So this is actually my first time checking one of these out. And just right off the bat, I just want to make it clear, this is not a stand that you're going to be traveling with. This is not meant to be a put in your backpack and use it when you go on gig stand. This is a permanent DJ boot stand. This thing is nearly eight pounds. It's heavier than my EVH Wolfgang guitar. What's awesome is it is collapsible if it needs to be put away. And here we go. A lot of times when you see these stands, you're usually seeing them when somebody's using a 16 pad or 
a 32 pad like the DDJ XP2. And you could totally use this as a laptop stand. That's no problem. And what's cool is, Matt, if there's one thing about this stand, it's the stability. This thing does not move. It's rocking my whole table <laughs> when I do that. I like how low profile this area is, so it doesn't get in my way if I do use a laptop. Now, this isn't the primary, like I said, it's not the primary use for the stand, but it's pretty awesome. I like that the, the base isn't that, doesn't protrude too far, so it doesn't get in the way if you have, if you're using it with CDJs or a mixer, and you have some room to actually just not even have the CDJ or mixer um, sitting on it if you wanted. You can angle it closer. There is some room, so amen to the ergonomics on this. But when everything is tight, oh my gosh, that thing is stable. Here's a funny thing that I come across. Every now and then I see a DJ who's using a 17 inch gaming laptop for their DJ computer. And they're using the smallest, flimsiest little Uber stand for that laptop and just one little lift, that thing's gonna fly off. If you're using a gaming laptop, it doesn't seem that weight is much of an issue to you. I might actually recommend getting one of these because this would totally keep a 17 inch laptop stable. Let's try it with the 15. This thing is awesome if you're looking for something heavy duty or something permanent in the booth. Once again, I wouldn't recommend to travel with it because it is ridiculously heavier than all the other stands and super bulky, just not meant to be taken around. Unlike the K&M, the rubber protective feet are on there and it is stable. And there's ones right here on the hook. This is where this laptop stand is really great, is if you have a module, like a 16 pad, like usually a portable laptop stand could be, can make it wobble all over the place. While this, it's almost as stable as having it on the tabletop. And that's what we see most people use it with, with a performance pad module or an effects machine to keep that stable. So anything that has a lot of tactical use, that's what this is made for. So I have a height adjustable table. So if something is too low, I can always lift it. But if you have a regular folding table at home and you are getting sick of taking your DJ controller and stacking it on its case or its protective cover and it's wobbly, well, having it on top of the stand can keep it more stable. This is something I would consider for a permanent DJ booth or a permanent setup at home, or if you just don't mind carrying heavy equipment in your mobile setup or your BYOG, bring your own gear, gigs to the club, like here in Iowa. So the DJC SDS1 from Pioneer DJ, stability, oh my gosh, wins on stability. Ergonomics, it's surprisingly more ergonomic than you would expect because of the ability to tilt here as well as on the top tray. And the fact that it has a thin and not so large base, it makes maneuvering around mixers and CDJs a lot easier and sometimes helps you avoid from lifting them. Portability, <laughs> weight, it's eight pounds. It's not bad, but it's not like the other stands. Storability, it's actually surprisingly more storable because it does collapse. Um, that's a great thing. So, you know, in a permanent DJ booth, not everybody's gonna be using one of these for their EFX module or their XB2, but not necessarily something that I would recommend putting in a backpack. Actually, I don't recommend putting it in a backpack. This is made for home, 
for the studio or the DJ booth. That's exactly what it was designed for. Or for a heavy duty setup like at a music festival when you have if, when you need extra modules. I know there's several setups where the CDJs are lifted because the turntables are prioritized. This would be the stand to put a CDJ on. I don't recommend putting a CDJ on a cheaper laptop stand only because the wobble, the stability is not there. So I need you guys to help me out. Which one of these should I actually buy and keep? In my work, you can never have enough module and laptop stands. And if I were to narrow them down, it would be the Pioneer, the Roland, and the Odyssey. So if you guys could help me out, or if you have any questions, comments, or anything to add about any of the items we talked about today, please leave them in the comments section below. Would love to hear your thoughts, answer any questions, learn anything new about any of the stands that I haven't talked about, and of course, to find out what you guys think, which one I should actually keep. I'm gonna leave links down below in the pinned comments where you can get a hold of one of these stands. All my links today are from Zounds. They have one of the best, if not the best, financing options online from all the music distributors. Check out these stands in the link below. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And if it's your first time here and you found this video useful, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you get a notification the next time I upload a video. All right, guys, it was fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for washing your hands. Thank you for watching and please wash your hands. Stay healthy. Take care.